For a probability distribution, the mean of the random variable describes the measure of the so-called long run or theoretical average, but it doesn't tell anything about the distribution. So in this video, we're gonna learn the variance and the standard deviation of a probability distribution to measure the spread or variability. So if we recall the formulas in computing for the variance and the standard deviation, ito yun. However, these formulas cannot be used for a random variable of a probability distribution since n is infinite and so the variance and the standard deviation must be computed differently. So here is the general formula for the variance of a probability distribution. It is given by this formula. However, itong formula na to ay eh, medyo mahaba kapag kinumpute. That is why in this video, I'm gonna show you a simplified formula that we can use to compute for the variance and standard deviation of a probability distribution. So let's go! So the simplified formula in computing for the variance of a probability distribution is given by this. Mu squared is equal to, so interpret natin to ng mas madali, uh, squared the uh, outcomes times its corresponding probability, i-add lahat yun, and then minus mu squared, okay, or the square of the mean. That's how we interpret this formula. And to compute for the standard deviation, we simply get the square root of the variance. Alright, so let's take a look at the first example, and let's try to compute for the variance and the standard deviation. Let's find the variance and the standard deviation of the number of spots that appear when a die is tossed. Basically, we can write the formula first in computing for the variance para may idea tayo ano ba yung dapat na maging laman ng ating table. So, by looking at the table, we see that the, the first column, yung x, is our random variable. We have the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or simply the number of spots that appear when a die is tossed. So, we get the probability of this possibility, we have 1 over 6. It's like the probability of getting 1 spot is 1 over 6. The probability of getting 2 spots when you toss, uh, when you toss a die or roll a die, we have 1 over 6. The probability of getting 3 spots is also 1 over 6 and so on and so forth. Now, so let's compute for the expected value or the mean. By simply getting the sum of all this. Okay, we simply need to multiply the, the outcome to its corresponding probability. And again, getting the summation of that, so we get the mean or the expected value. So, 1 times 1, 6, we get 1 over 6. 2 times 1 over 6, we get 2 over 6. 3 times 1 over 6, we have 3 over 6. And then 4 times 1, 6. 5 times 1, 6. And then 6 times 1, 6. Now, by getting the sum of all these values, we now have the mu or our mean. And that is equivalent to 21 over 6 or 7 over 2. Again, add all these values and we, you will get 21 over 6 or 7 over 2. Now, since our formula has mu squared, we need to get the square of our mean. Okay, so square natin yung mean kasi part yun ating formula in getting the variance. So, mu squared is equal to 49 over 4 or 12.25. Now, kumpletuhin natin yung table by supplying the corresponding or the missing elements. So, x squared here, it means square natin yung ating values. na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and then 6 squared is 36. Now, ibig sabihin nito, multiply natin si x squared, itong table natin na ito, dito kay probability natin na p of x. So, 1 times 1 6, 4 times 1 6, 9 times 1 6, 16 times 1 6, 25 times 1 6, 36 times 1 6. Now, let's add all these values para makuha natin tong part na ating formula. Okay, so by adding all these, we get the summation. 
91 over 6. Okay, now, let's substitute these values dito sa ating formula for the variance. So, sigma square, ito yung ating symbol for the variance. Sigma square is equal to 15.17. Ito yun, no? Si 91 over 6 is approximately equal to 15.17. Okay. Minus our mu squared, 12.25. And now we get sigma squared as 2.92. And this is now our variance. Alright. So by getting the square root of the variance, we now have the standard deviation, which is 1.71. Now, let's take a look at the second example. Let's say a box contains five balls. Two are numbered three, one is numbered four, and two are numbered five. The balls are mixed, and one is selected at random. After a ball is selected, its number is recorded, then it is replaced. If the experiment is repeated many times, find the variance and the standard deviation of the numbers on the ball. So here... We let x be the number on each ball. So our uh, random variable is x. And our values here, we have 3, 4, and 5. So this is 3, 4, and 5. Now, if we calculate the probability of this, so make it another, we have 2 are number 3. So that means the probability of this is 2 out of 5 or 0 0.4. 1 is numbered 4. So, in probability, the numbered 4 ay 1 out of 5 and that is 0.2. And 2 are numbered 5. So, the probability, okay, of this numbered 5 is 2 out of 5 or simply 0 0.4. By multiplying the outcomes to its corresponding probability, makukuha natin, of course, yung ating mean. So, 3 times 0.4 is 1.2, 4 times 0.2 is 0.8, 5 times 0.4, we have 2. By adding all this, we now have our mean or mu is equal to 4. Mu squared is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to 16. And this is part of our formula, kaya kinumpit natin yung mu squared. By completing the table, we ha now have 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. By multiplying this, the outcome square, and the probability, we have four, uh, 0 0.4 times 9, we get 3.6. 0 0.2 times 16, we get 3.2. 0 0.4 times 25, we get 10. By adding all these values, we now have... 16.8 so 3.6 plus 3.2 plus 10 we have 16.8 looking at the formula in computing for the variance okay substitute lang natin ito so we have 16.8 okay tong part na ito we have 16.8 minus okay mu squared natin ay 16. So, minus 16. And so, our variance is equal to 0 0.8. By taking the square root of the variance, we get the value 0. Point, approximately 0 0.894 as our standard deviation. I hope that you learned something about the video. Thank you for watching.